My name is Megan Francis, and I'm an Associate Professor of Political Science here at the University of Washington. I have an upcoming public lecture called Building Walls and Securing Borders. You should come hang out with me. What I'm going to try to do in this lecture is to slice through all of the noise in the current political environment around immigration and refugees to help people make better sense of where we are today as a country, where we've been, and what our individual responsibility is in this current political moment. So I'm going to do all of that at the lecture. Before the lecture, this is what I need you to know right now. Immigration is a massive topic. It's also a deeply racialized topic. No period of American history exists where race has not impacted the passage of immigration policies and laws. For example, here on the West Coast, many Chinese immigrated in the 19th century for the California Gold Rush and played a critical role in the building of the Transcontinental Railroad. Afterwards, the federal government passed the Chinese Exclusion Act, which banned new Chinese immigrants and prevented those who were already here from becoming citizens. This law was in effect all the way up until 1943. Another example of the racialized construction of immigration policy is the Immigration Act of 1924, which favored immigrants from Northern and Western European countries in comparison to those immigrants from Southern and Eastern Europe. And the 1924 Act put very limited quotas on the numbers of immigrants from Asia and Africa. Irish and Italian immigrants, especially those who went to ethnic enclaves on the East Coast, were discriminated against and treated poorly. They were called horrible names and not treated as legal citizens. Today our immigration policies are of course different, but ideas about race have had a lasting effect on American society and continue to inform how immigrants from different countries are treated through our political and our legal institutions. This matters for Washington State. The number of immigrants in Washington State is nearly one million, comprising 14% of the state's population, and more than 45% of immigrants in Washington State are naturalized United States citizens. Now this is only the beginning. There's so much more for us to discuss about immigration at the national and at the local level. I'm excited to explore more of this with you. Come join me on January 17th, and let's keep this conversation going.